there's been a sentiment bubbling for now months and years, uh, tolerant of the message of racism and discrimination. Our big story tonight, school boards across the country are under fire from angry parents and outsiders. The latest shocking example is here in the Valley, an anti-Semitic outburst at a Chandler school board meeting. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. For 12 News at 6, I'm Rachel Cole. And I'm Mitch Carr. Mark and Caribe have the night off. Team 12's Bram Resnick tells us why some Chandler parents and a school board member aren't surprised. Speakers at public board meetings have a First Amendment right to say their piece. The Chandler board has come under attack at these meetings for several years now. I do want to warn you, the audio you're about to hear is offensive. The speaker, identified as Melanie Rettler, is not a Chandler parent. It was an offensive claim. The Jews, the speaker said, are profiting off COVID vaccines. And it's being taken from your money and given to these um, pharmaceutical companies. And if you want to bring race into this, it's the Jews. There was a smattering of applause <laughs> and a mild rebuke. Your comments really need to be um, related to what the school board can do something about. A parent who follows Chandler Unified School Board meetings wasn't surprised. It's a good point to say that this didn't come out of nowhere. Attorney Laura Lawless's 13-year-old daughter attends a Chandler Unified School. Next year, her four-year-old son will, too. There's been a sentiment bubbling for now months and years, uh, tolerant of the message of racism and discrimination. Lawless says her and son heard the anti-Semitic comment. I think he looked at me with more shock and surprise than anything else. The pandemic has amplified anger at education leaders in the Valley and nationwide. Most of that rage coming from the right. I'm disgusted that you are lying to the citizens of this state and the people that pay your salaries. Lindsay Love is the only African-American on the Chandler board. She tells me on this weekend's Sunday Square Off why she won't run for a second term. I need to take care of myself and my family at this point, especially with death threats, people following me in restaurants and taking pictures of my back and sending them to me. Interim Chandler School Superintendent Frank Narducci issued this statement about the board meeting. We strongly denounce the anti-Semitic statement made. All Chandler Unified School District students, staff, and community members deserve to feel safe, respected, and valued. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.